morning, class. I'm so excited to introduce three new students. Meet Baby Cat, Jack, and JT. My name is Baby Cat, and I'm not sure I want to be here. It's pretty scary. My name is Jack, and I'm mainly a peaceful cat, but let's get one thing straight. If anybody pulls any of this black cat jokes on me, then I'm going to smack you. Smack you, I say. I don't think there'll be any need for smacking. Just laying out the truth. I'm JT, and I'm just going to sleep through class today. <laughs> Well, welcome all. And JT, I hope you find our discussion so interesting that you will want to stay awake. Last week, our discussion was about shame, and this week we will discuss guilt. Guilt? Why are we going to waste class time talking about something so easy-peasy? No wonder cats are the superior species. No species is superior, but each species does have special talents and special ways of viewing the world. Guilt is an example. Cats do not seem to suffer from guilt. That's why I invited Principal Cool Cat and our music teacher, Miss Kitty, to lead our discussion on guilt. Hello, I'm Principal Cool Cat. And I'm pretty Miss Kitty. Before we discuss guilt, there's two important cat things that you must know. Pay close attention. Cat think number one is that pain is actually good. Pain is a warning sign. It's a red alert. Pain lets you know that something is wrong. Something needs your immediate attention. Pain that goes on past the warning stage, that's bad. When it goes long term, it's not helpful anymore. It's harmful. Pain that's short and over with is good. Pain that's long and hanging on, that's bad. Got that? Now for cat think number two. We have two different ways to experience pain. We have body ouchies and we have thinking ouchies. When something hurts our body and makes us say, ow, that's a body ouchie. And when our thinking makes us go, ow, it's a thinking ouchie. Guilt is a think ouchie. It's a red alert warning you that you have done something that's making you feel pain on the inside. Pay attention to it. You have to figure out how to make the thought ouchie better. Then you do it. Every time you fix a thought ouchie, it helps you grow and become a better person or cat or dog or bird or whatever. You leave the guilt and the situation behind and take the learning with you. We have no problem leaving the guilt behind because of unity principles number two and five. Number two says that we are naturally good because we have God's divinity in us. And number five says, I do and give my best. And that's what we do. Thank you, Principal Cool Cat and Miss Kitty. I think I like the way cats think about guilt. For homework tonight, let's all try to apply cat thinking to a situation which makes us feel guilty. For now, class dismissed.